of resources monitoring, right? If it is the existing infrastructure, no problem. Already set up and ready, readily available. But coming to the real uh, infrastructure, when you going to develop from the scratch, you going to design the infrastructure, you should have a clear understanding about which are all the log we have to start monitor. AWS, you know, generating a logs for, across many items, many services. There are some certain logs, right? Very much important. Some certain resources, right? Very much important. You need to uh, really uh, important to monitor. It. Those things are easy to first instance level performance status. What is the utilization right now? What is the uh, uh, consumption of the resources right now? Whether the server is active or not, the performance status is very important. A system level data or volume network utilization in inbound outbound network inbound outbound volume. How much people are accessing it? Okay, remaining space, all those things. Status checks failure. One by two. See, many of them not even mentioned this in your answer. Status checks is to be very much important to be monitored. This is a zero bar two, one bar two. There's a status checks available in EC2. That is very much important in monitor. When you're answering during the interview, people will uh, first uh, this is the first indication when server is down in AWS. First, first we'll go and check the status checks only. Nobody mentioned in your answer. This is what I said. The question looks very simple, but the exact answer is very different. E case coming to E case, you'll have a mini Kubernetes node. So you need to track the health and utilization metric of your Kubernetes node. You'll have a two node cluster, three node cluster, four node cluster. You need to make sure all the cluster are working properly and in each and individual node utilization, disk utilization, whatever we have suggested the AC to write that have to be monitor. Namespaces you have to monitor. Okay, there's a monitoring tool which will help you to monitor your Kubernetes namespaces. What are the resources available and the pod? Okay. Each and every part where you deploy your application that have to be monitored. That is very important coming to the monitoring aspect on EKS. Coming to ECS, right? Monitoring the CPU memory utilization of reservation metrics in the cluster. ECS also a kind of cluster based mechanism only. We have to monitor the node over part of the cluster and the memory utilization of the containers. And the monitor the service directly on manage your Docker environment. Whatever the application you deployed on the uh, container, right? That also can be monitored. This is the first level. Second level, if you go, there is another thing from the data perspective. Coming to the data perspective for F3, we have to monitor the storage, how many people are requesting for the data, how many people are uh, requesting storage, data transfer is happening, any harmful things are coming in. Okay, that have to be monitored. Proactively monitor your F3 object URLs. If somebody accessing them publicly, somebody accessing them. Uh, you know, uh, without any authentication. So somebody, any, anyone trying to uh, monitoring your uh, data transfer, okay, what URL has been uploaded, what data has been uploaded, all these things, right? It's very important to monitor the data perspective. Okay, before that compute perspective, this is the data perspective. DB, when you come to DB, is very much important. First of all, you encrypt all these three items. Okay, and you have to monitor your SQL uh, database engines, whichever you have created, instance status, backend connectivity, Coming to DynamoDB, right? You have to monitor your backup and you need to monitor your DB table and how many streams. Sometimes they will do automation whenever any um, activity which is going on. People will be very much interested in uh, transferring and uploading a log through DynamoDB over uh, RDS. That kind of automation or streaming we have to uh, monitor. How it is going is anything is dropping everywhere, three way handshakes happen. All these things, right? Supposed to be monitored. And ELB, when you come to ELB, right, full monitoring support, there are multiple load balancers are there, okay, which gives you flow log also, okay, who all accessing my load balancer, how many requests comes per minute, okay, what is the backend instance has been mapped with the load balancer, what is the status of the backend load balancer, health check status of the load balancer, and uh, all the instances are up to date, okay, is there an unexpected uh, request comes to my load balancer. Is a request from the same IP address repeatedly come to my load balancer. Somebody trying to access because load balance something publicly exposed, right? Maximum of scenario I'm telling. On that scenario, you should be aware about uh, how many people are accessing from the outside. All those stuff, right, should be monitored. That's very much important. Coming to the CM, okay, certificate uh, manager, AWS has certificate manager. You need to renew the status of public and uh, SSL TLS certificates deployed on your website because you need to renew it. If that renovation not happen, it will be you know occurred. Uh, your application will not execute when you are not enabling the certificate manager. See, 
nobody uh, mentioned about certificate monitor it's very important another one is guard duty guard duty is the input in the aws service through the guard duty right we have to enable uh, monitoring this guard duty is interconnected with the back end there are three to four uh, devices okay to monitor the aws network for anomalies behavior okay somebody who's uh, coming from unauthorized environment and all it will automatically uh, monitors it is monitoring your route 53 uh, traffic it is monitoring your uh, cloud trial and cloud watch traffic it is monitoring your network uh, acl traffic it is monitoring your flow log traffic all these uh, multiple cases right guard duty is a single person who will monitor all this it will notify you when there is an unauthorized access when is the security breach happened when there is you know automatically uh, it will uh, analyze the anomaly behavior unexpected behavior it will notify you it is something uh, aws inbuilt mechanism machine learning integrated uh, automated uh, software which is available on everyone's machine okay today for the security aspect people are giving priority guard duty is the number one okay very important service most of you are not aware about this guard duty this is one of the hint because most of them posted not nobody mentioned about cloud uh, sorry certificate manager nobody mentioned about uh, guard duty this are the things very important this are the knowledge is right when people will come to know when actually working in a live project only. these are something hidden fact i am bringing into your notice and the kms key okay and any key is re-imported or any key to be renewed or key need to be rotated uh, if any key i am going to change it i am adding a new newly added any user into the key if somebody scheduled for the deletion that item and all need to be monitored from the kms perspective Okay, these are the overall monitoring strategy, guys. So when you are planning as a cloud architect, when you are planning for the uh, monitoring resources, right, you have to categorize in the two to three different way. First one is for your compute, your server, you know, node, cluster node, okay, all those area. Second level, your data. Okay, what are the area we are going to deal with our data? Third one, which are the things you are publicly exposing? Example, like a classic load balancer, network load balancer, application load balancer those wherever you are going to publicly exposing right that is uh, you have to be curious third one is uh, certificate and keys fourth one automated inbuilt guard duty mechanism for your network security vp flow lock load balancer flow lock route 53 lock everything it will monitor the five areas right you need to always keep in mind this is the five strategy which comes under the monitoring your aws account we are not going to complete it over here. I am going to extend this to a monitoring tool. There are many monitoring tools are available today. Paid software, inbuilt software, CloudWatch, Nagios, Neuralik, SolarWind. Okay, there are many open source, many paid softwares are there. Today, as a cloud architect, you have to answer in any interview. You have to plan your monitoring in such a way. You will be monitoring your uh, resources, right? Uh, using this tool, this is the one of the tool. You can take any tool, whichever supports this. Uh, uh automation or activity what happens here let me take my pin from your monitoring the resources right this is your one of the server this is your one of the server just imagine this is one of your server this is one of your server this is one of your server all these things will be monitored what does mean by metrics anyone answer what is metrics in chat CPU disk value status key to monitor exactly key to monitor is the correct term. So metrics mean the key based on this key I'll going to monitor my resource. We can take uh, metric CPU is the metric volume is one of the metric memory utilization network inbound network outbound disk inbound disk outbound uh, network transition. Uh, so all these uh, key area to monitor this is something metrics. Each and every resource is right, the metric will vary. If you take EC2 instance, we have taken five categories right for the monitoring compute servers. Second one is data. Third one is whichever we are exposing publicly, like load balancer. Fifth one is key. Uh, sorry, fourth one is key. Fifth one is my guard duty. Like five major categories, uh, categories right? Each and everything will have a different matrix. It depends upon the resource. Uh, we have listed out right when we have a uh server will be monitoring cpo memory network and all so that is the something called metrics okay 
this is something called alarm engine once the metric is reached the alarm engine if it is reaches the 90% or whatever threshold you have given you nowadays your automation tool right your monitoring tool itself doing some automatic activity first it can i know i reached at the instance if it is normal behavior uh, if this will send a notification to my l1 team and nowadays people right they are very much advanced they went and they are invoking any lambda function the lambda if it is no issue right the lambda function will automatically fix the issue example my in my cluster i have a two node i have a three node when i am running that lambda function right it will restart all the server it will clear the cache if really needed it will uh, trigger my auto scaling to provision one more instance to become part of the cluster that kind of automatic automation also can be done through lambda so lambda is integrated with my today's monitoring tool okay so when my metrics has reaches the threshold my monitoring tool itself is capable today to do such activity okay this is very important simply monitoring is outdated for 5 years people were out monitor 2 3 2 to 3 years before people are doing it but today we can oh, from the monitoring tool we can automate to invoke any lambda function we can automate the many stuff getting the notification call it's common but based upon the error or based upon the issue monitor team will automatically analyze it can trigger some lambda function that is also possible you have to update your knowledge with automation way the there where it comes to automation into the picture this is very important when you are answering as a cloud architect as a part of monitoring you have to include this wherever the area is possible to automate auto fix i will try to do that using invoking lambda function that is very important key point coming to the log analytics right this is the architecture diagram for log analytics uh, aws itself for uh, cloud watch has a log mechanism cloud trail has a log mechanism but the predominant of things how what how it happened right see from aws route 53 uh, cloud trail aws vpc flow log everything been monitored by the cloud aws cloud guard duty so the cloud watch event along with the cloud watch event everything will process in the lambda function it will either put it in the s3 bucket or something okay everything will put it in the s3 bucket or something okay from here we will be handing over to some log analytics tools something called splunk available elk stack available many things are there but splunk is the best approach and option i think elk is the open source one but splunk has a few more little uh, advantages but it depends on the environment people will use whatever the environment if you take right from the s3 people will be taking the log in the splunk they will analyze the log they will process the log even if you want you can point your server application log also to the splunk so splunk and the elk stack these are the tool many other tools also is there these are the tool they will work with your log they will monitor uh, your uh, route 53 log cloud trail log uh, a cloud watch event vpc flow log guard duty response everything no the splunk kind of individual server level application log or kubernetes log uh, everything right they will collect they will put it in the s3 bucket from the s3 bucket right it will be integrated with the cloud uh, uh, monitoring tool like this okay once it's been integrated on in the cloud bucket uh, once the uh, splunk kind of tool they will be processing it they will providing you the dashboard kind of this is what happening here this is the log they will give you graph and everything main advantage right to protect your environment from the log management the main purpose protect your environment right alert from log analytic tool we can trigger some alert actually what kind of alert it is we can trigger some alert okay one second let me erase this okay not sure so from here right i can trigger the alert when somebody creating any resource and they are somebody you know uh, deleting any roles from the log alert tool right i can uh, monitor all the log it can send me a notification if they missed anything something the monitoring right logging can be notified me create or delete the updated keys okay someone created and deleted my aws iam key somebody created my group somebody created deleted my user somebody updated my membership somebody terminated my ac instance somebody run or start action they have done on the specific resource somebody imported the external key somebody deleted the security group and the acl group somebody deleted my vpc somebody attached the network interface additionally somebody did a uh, delete create a modified acl so your log analytics tool right it will capture all the logs from the aws s3 from the s3 right it has been moving the log to splunk kind of log analytics tool 
the log analytics tool will analyze, analyze all these stuff. Then they are triggering the alert based upon the activity what we are defining. So here is the very important factor uh, based upon the organization, uh, the cloud security team right, will expect all these things. Because there is a company, we can think, you know, BMW is a company, they are giving their project to TCS, they will not blindly, you know, trust uh, TCS, right? because the entire uh, infrastructure is in TCS control. Even though it's hosted in AWS, access everything is belongs to TCS. In that case, this kind of security audit, security alerting, security automation email, that is very important, very, very, really important. So these can be done, this automation. Uh, this is one of the example I have given, there are many things can be done. So these kind of automated email from the, after analyzing the log, this will produce for me. Okay, this is the main responsibility of log analytic to always give me a dashboard, logs, if anything outage and all, I can go ahead, I can see the logs, everything can be done. Okay, so this is how you need to understand uh, monitoring and logging in any environment. Make sure in your current project, you have an understanding all, okay. Uh, um, current environment, you have an understanding how this authentication happens, what are the area you are monitoring currently, as discussed, uh, you are monitoring the uh, compute level or not, data level or not, load balancer, public exposing level or not, what don't be enabled in your environment or not, and uh, keys, KMS key, certificate manager kind of key, those are monitor or not. The five areas is very important when you go any infrastructure. Coming to that, whatever the log you are capturing from all these tools, right, that have to be centrally you have to upload it in the S3 bucket. Your log analytics tool will be integrated with the S3 bucket. They will be monitoring your log, will be providing general data. In addition to that, security audit, they will be providing these many other data as well. Okay, this is very important, guys. So can you guys put it in the chat box? How many of you uh, monitoring all those five items in your infrastructure? Current infrastructure? Or you are monitoring one area, two area, three area. Can you put it that in your chat box? Out of five, how many areas you are monitoring in your current environment? Okay, Sandil asking, can you tell me one more time in the flow? Flow is very simple. I'll put it in the chat box. First one is compute. Second, you need to monitor your uh, data related stuff. Third one, right, you have to monitor the publicly exposing item. Fourth one, you have to monitor your key managed services. The fifth one is your guard duty. Machine learning based anomaly reduction uh, system. Out of five in your environment, okay, or what is your understanding? Only two are monitoring. Very good. So, very good, very good. Yeah, this is the lagging, guys. This is what the lagging. We'll simply think like monitoring, but this is the entire complete cloud architect knowledge we want. If there are only two items on monitor, we need to suggest our client, we need to suggest our environment. Hey, these are the other options also available. We have to monitor these other ways. Okay.